Right? I don't want anyone to know about this. No one. Okay? Call me and let me know when you've disposed of the old door. Sure thing, Mrs. Carr. One problem solved. Now all we have to do is get rid of this carpet. It's a bad idea. <sighs> Great, just when I need to be more wired. Okay, come on, Lulu. You're gonna keep drinking your coffee like you normally do every morning. We're gonna do everything exactly the same. You're gonna pick fights with me in public. Or... No, stop it, stop it. I cannot do this. I, I, I need to call the cops and tell them that I killed Logan. You cannot do that. You cannot call the cops. You can't do that to me or Johnny or Claudia for that matter. We helped you cover this up. Get me a door fixed and keep me quiet is complicated enough. It's a miracle that none of the neighbors heard Logan busting the door down and they didn't call the cops. I'm just saying that pulling the carpet up and dragging it out of here right now is a little obvious. Yeah, but it's better than having the dead guy's blood stain under the throw rug. I didn't ask anybody to cover up for me. The time to mention that would have been last night. Yeah, well, I was shocked, okay? Logan smashed through the door with an axe. He completely flipped out. I didn't mean to kill him. I just I wanted to hold him off. I didn't mean to do it is not the best defense. For all the cops know, Logan could have died in a bar fight. He had a short fuse and he was very combative, and not just with me. Johnny, you... You just got into a very public brawl with a guy, given the fact that you have a history, and you both dated the same girl. We can pretty much assume the cops are going to make a suspect out of you. So if they get a search warrant and they come in here, it's, it's better that they find a new carpet than one with evidence that Logan died here. You already put Logan in a coma by cracking his skull with a pipe wrench and you used the same excuse that you didn't mean to do it because I didn't. I cared about Logan, not the way that he wanted, but I would never intentionally hurt him, much less kill him. But you did. And I have no doubt that Johnny and his sister have spent the entire night covering up. I never asked Johnny to. He just told Claudia that he's the one that killed Logan. Lulu, if Johnny wants to cover for you, don't you think we should let him? Johnny, the cops can suspect you all they want. They can't actually arrest you unless they have physical proof. The best thing to do here is just stay cool. Be calm. Do not volunteer any information to anyone. I can handle this. Yeah, I'm not so worried about you as I am about Lulu and Maxie. I don't like having your life in their hands. If we both keep our mouths shut, we can pull this off. Do you even care that Logan's dead? Because I do. Then maybe I don't want to pull this off. Maxine, it's me. We need to talk. As soon as you can, please, because the old carpet has already been removed. Okay. Uh, the bloodstained carpet is being burned as we speak, and the flooring company will have the new carpet in sometime late tomorrow afternoon. We'll do some time for the cops to show up. Johnny, you know, you didn't exactly give me a lot of time to prepare here, and I had to go with a legitimate flooring company because we need to play this straight, like I was planning to redecorate the place since we moved in, and... You don't think the timing looks a little obvious? I'm trying to clean up your mess here. So if you have a better idea, I'm all ears. Um, I appreciate everything that you're doing, okay? And I understand that you're scared for me, but don't be. Thanks to you, there's nothing that links me to Logan's murder. I'd, I'd be a lot more confident if it was just you and me. But there's Lulu. Okay, Lulu can handle this just fine. Like she handled Logan, John? The way she was stringing him along? Nothing that happened was because of Lulu. How, how can you say that, Johnny? You killed Logan because of Lulu. Your life is on the line because of Lulu. Well, this is a surprise. I thought you two could barely get along. Well, we had to pull an all-nighter to get some stuff done for the magazine, so we decided to put our personal issues aside and take care of what needs to be done. Right, Lulu? Right. Well, I, uh, I have something to tell you, something I think is going to be tough for both of you to hear. 
Logan Hayes was murdered last night. Oh my God, that's so horrible. Yeah, his body was uh, dumped outside Nicholas's new clinic. One of the nurses found him. Well, I mean, Logan was really messed up and mean to me sometimes, but I can't believe he's dead. I just saw him yesterday. What? When? Yeah, at the, at the Elm Street Pier. He had a few choice words for me, and I gave it right back to him. And then he showed up at the Crimson offices later, all bitter and angry, looking for someone to fight with. Then what happened? Come on, Dad. We're about to launch a magazine. I have a million things to deal with. I can't handle Logan and all his problems. I told him to go look for someone else to fight with. I, I guess he found someone who fought back. Stop blaming Lulu. None of this is her fault. Lulu is the reason that Logan came after you because he was still hung up on her, John. He was crazy. His motives don't matter. The guy came after me and I killed him. End of story. Not if little Lulu goes blabbing to the cops. She's not going to do that to me. You have a real blind spot when it comes to that girl, Johnny. You know that? She is all over the map. She's probably bawling her eyes out right now, spilling her guts to the cops and giving you up in the process. is okay. She's the reason that your neck is on the line here, Johnny. Does anybody know that you guys came over here? No. no. Good. You guys got rid of your rug. Do you think that was a good idea? We know what we're doing, Maxie. And from now on, you are both going to do exactly what I say. I know how these things work. Yeah, well, we all remember that your daddy is the police commissioner, Maxie. Actually, that might work to our advantage, as long as you don't go spilling your guts and tell him everything. No, I do not want Mac to know I was involved with this. That's why I dragged Lulu to Kelly so that we could have some huge public argument. You s you staged a phony argument? How obvious was that? There's nothing phony about it. Everybody knows we can't stand each well, other. Well, everybody also knows that Logan was still in love with you because you were stringing him along. You need to drop that. No, I don't need to drop it, Johnny. I really don't. Logan and Lulu, everybody knows that he was in love with her and she was leading him on. I mean, come on. No. Mm -mm. It's not that big of a leap to you, the new boyfriend. That is not how it happened. Hello? Yes, Daddy, I understand. Trace of Logan left, no proof that he was even here. Come on. Why are you doing this? I'm trying to get my head around it, how it happened, how I could kill someone. Don't start doing that. I panicked, I froze. Logan was busting through the door. Because I trapped myself inside, I didn't call 911, I didn't get out while I had a chance, and because I was so stupid, Logan is dead. And now you're taking the blame, and I don't know if I can live with that. I had done things differently. Logan. There's no reason that you need to keep blaming I yourself. I am the one who killed Logan. Nobody else. I led him on, and then when he finally snapped, I killed him. Logan completely lost control. He could have killed you, or raped you, or both. You found a way to survive. You protected yourself. You were completely blameless. Okay, the only reason I'm trying to cover this up is because Scott Baldwin, Logan's father, is a special prosecutor. He's going to be out for blood, for revenge. And he's in the perfect position to use his power in order to get it. So I should be able to kill Logan to end his life and not have to pay for it? It's the police. Open up. 